Since its launch, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has revolutionized our understanding of space. Launched in December 2021, JWST not only continued the legacy of the Hubble Space Telescope, but surpassed it in capabilities and discoveries. JWST's advanced technology, combined with high-resolution and highly sensitive instruments, allows it to look at objects that are too old, distant, or faint for previous telescopes. Its ability to view the universe in infrared light allows it to peer through cosmic dust and gas, revealing the hidden secrets of the universe's origin and evolution. JWST's main mission is to observe the first stars and galaxies that formed in the early universe. By studying these ancient celestial bodies, scientists hope to reconstruct the history of the cosmos and reveal how galaxies, stars, and planetary systems, including our own, formed. In addition, JWST is tasked with accurately characterizing potentially habitable exoplanets, bringing us closer to answering the age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe. Point one of JWST's most exciting discoveries is the detection of Earth-sized exoplanets in the habitable regions of their parent stars. These are regions where conditions can be favorable for liquid water, an essential ingredient of life as we know it. Among these discoveries is the remarkable planet WASP, 96b which has attracted great interest in the scientific community. WASP-96b is a yellow dwarf star located approximately 1,150 light-years from Earth in the southern constellation known as Phoenix. This star has at least one exoplanet, WASP-96b, a gas giant with a mass 2.48 times that of Jupiter. The discovery of WASP-96b is important because JWST detected water in the atmosphere as well as signs of clouds and nebulae. This was surprising because the planet was originally thought to be cloudless. The presence of water suggests that among these exoplanets, there may be a possibility of Earth 2.0. WASP-96b belongs to the family of hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit very close to their stars. Scientists hypothesize that these planets formed further out in their water-rich planetary systems before migrating inward due to gravitational interactions. The presence of water in the atmosphere of WASP 96b indicates that it retained some of its original icy material during its migration. Another interesting discovery made by JWST is WASP 76b, also classified as a hot Jupiter. It is located in the constellation Pisces and orbits its host star WASP 76 in 1.8 days at a distance of 0.033 Australian dollars. WASP 76b is significantly larger than Earth with a mass 2.92 times that of Jupiter. Discovered in October 2013, the estimated equilibrium temperature of the planet is 2,190 K. Data collected by the Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescope show that it contains ionized elements such as lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, manganese, iron, and barium. Atmosphere WASP 76b is described as hazy, mostly gray, and has a thermal glow NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, launched in April 2018, has also played an important role in finding exoplanets. TESS uses the transit method to detect exoplanets by observing periodic dips in the brightness of stars as planets pass in front of them. TESS's wide-field cameras survey 85% of the sky, monitoring more than 200,000 stars for their subtle changes in brightness. By November 2022, TESS had identified 5,969 exoplanet candidates, of which only 268 had been confirmed. Among the confirmed exoplanets found by TESS is LHS 475b, located 40.7 light-years from the solar system in the constellation Octanes. LHS 475b is close in size to Earth at 90.9% in diameter, but much hotter, with an equilibrium temperature of 586 Kelvin. The planet orbits its red dwarf star, LHS-475, every other day and appears to be tidally locked. LHS-475b has a special place in the history of the James Webb Space Telescope as the first Earth-sized planet confirmed by JWST. The telescope data suggests that LHS-475b is a rocky world that may have a carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere. The discovery of Earth-sized exoplanets is not only exciting, but also critical for future space exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life. 
Finding planets similar in size and composition to Earth increases the probability of finding a habitable environment. These discoveries also provide valuable targets for future missions to study the atmosphere, climate, and possible habitability of these distant worlds. JWST's significance goes beyond its discoveries. Its advanced technology represents a major advance in our ability to explore the universe. The telescope's 6.5-meter primary mirror, consisting of 18 hexagonal segments, is the largest mirror ever used in space. This allows JWST to collect more light and see further into space than any previous telescope. The telescope's instruments, such as the Near-Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, and the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, offer unprecedented sensitivity and resolution, enabling detailed studies of celestial bodies. JWST's ability to observe the infrared spectrum is particularly important for studying the early universe. Infrared light can penetrate thick clouds of gas and dust that often obscure distant objects, allowing JWST to see stars and galaxies that formed shortly after the Big Bang. By observing these ancient objects, scientists hope to learn more about the processes that led to the formation of the first galaxies and the evolution of the universe. The discovery of potentially habitable exoplanets has important implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. Although the discovery of life on another planet would be one of the most remarkable scientific discoveries in history, it would also raise many questions about the nature of life and its possible diversity in the universe. Detecting biosignatures, or indicators of life, in the atmospheres of exoplanets would provide strong evidence that life exists elsewhere. These biosignatures can include gases such as oxygen and methane produced by biological processes or more complex organic molecules. The search for extraterrestrial life also has philosophical and ethical implications. If we find that life is common in the universe, it suggests that life is a natural consequence of the laws of physics and chemistry. It challenges our understanding of our place in the universe and the uniqueness of life on Earth. It would also raise questions about how we should treat other life forms and what responsibility we have to them. The possibility of exoplanet colonization is another exciting possibility raised by the discovery of Earth-sized planets in habitable zones. While the challenges of interstellar travel are enormous, the identification of potentially habitable planets provides targets for future missions. The development of advanced propulsion technologies, such as nuclear power or electric propulsion, may one day allow spacecraft to be sent to these distant worlds. The possibility of human habitation on exoplanets also raises important ethical and practical questions. If we find habitable planets, how do we colonize them? What effect would human presence have on existing ecosystems? How do we balance the desire to explore and expand with the need to protect and preserve these new worlds? These are questions that must be addressed as we continue to explore the universe and push the boundaries of human knowledge. Discoveries by the James Webb Space Telescope and other space missions underscore the importance of continued investment in space exploration. The knowledge gained from studying distant planets, stars, and galaxies can change our understanding of the universe and our place in it. It can also inspire future generations to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, fields, promoting innovation and progress in many different fields. The future of space exploration is bright, with many exciting missions on the horizon. Launched in 2026, the European Space Agency's PLATO mission will search for Earth-sized exoplanets around sun-like stars, focusing on planets in the habitable zone. NASA's Nancy Grace Rome Space Telescope, scheduled to launch in the mid-2020s, will conduct extensive surveys to study dark energy, exoplanets, and infrared astrophysics. These missions, along with continued observations by JWST and TESS, will continue to expand our knowledge of the universe and our chances of finding life beyond Earth. All in all, the James Webb Space Telescope is an important milestone in the field of astronomy and space exploration. Its advanced technology and groundbreaking discoveries have opened new frontiers in understanding the universe. From detecting Earth-sized exoplanets in habitable zones to studying the formation of the first stars and galaxies, JWST is revolutionizing our view of space. As we continue to explore the universe, we are reminded of the limitless possibilities of human curiosity and ingenuity. 
The discoveries of JWST and other space flights inspire us to look beyond our own world and imagine the possibilities beyond the stars. The history of JWST itself is a testament to human determination and cooperation. The project, which began in the 1990s, encountered many technical challenges, budget constraints, and delays. But the dedication and hard work of thousands of scientists, engineers, and support staff around the world ensured its successful launch and deployment. JWST's journey from idea to reality underscores the importance of international collaboration to achieve great scientific achievements. The orbit of the telescope around the second point of Lagrange, L2, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth, provides a stable environment for it to realize observations. This position allows JWST to remain in a fixed position relative to the Earth and Sun, minimizing interference from their radiation and ensuring continuous and uninterrupted observations. This strategic placement is critical to the telescope's ability to collect high-quality data over long periods of time. Point one of JWST's most important technological advances is its solar shield, which shields the telescope's instruments from the heat and light of the Sun, Earth, and Moon. About the size of a tennis court, the sunscreen consists of five thin layers of a special material called captain. Thanks to this multi-layered construction, the solar shield effectively blocks heat and keeps the telescope's instruments at the very low temperatures required for infrared observations. The successful deployment of the sunshade, a complex and sensitive process, was a critical milestone for the mission. The JWST instruments are designed to work together to provide a complete picture of the universe. The Near Infrared Camera, an IR cam, is the primary imaging instrument capable of detecting light from the earliest stars and galaxies. It also acts as a wavefront sensor to align the telescope mirrors. The Near Infrared Spectrograph, an IR spec, can observe up to 100 objects simultaneously making it ideal for studying large samples of galaxies and other celestial bodies. The mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, extends the telescope's capabilities to longer wavelengths, allowing it to observe cooler objects such as dusty stars and protoplanetary disks. The fine steering sensor slash near-infrared camera and slitless spectrograph, FGS slash NIRIS, Enable precise alignment and stability of the telescope while providing additional imaging and spectroscopic capabilities. The integration of these instruments enables JWST to conduct various scientific investigations. For example, by observing the light of distant galaxies, the telescope can study their formation and evolution over billions of years. This helps scientists understand how galaxies like our Milky Way formed and how they changed over time. JWST's ability to observe in the infrared spectrum also makes it an invaluable tool for studying star formation. Infrared light can penetrate the dense clouds of gas and dust where stars form, revealing the processes that lead to the formation of new stars. The telescope's contribution to exoplanet research is especially noteworthy. By analyzing the light that passes through the atmospheres of these planets, JWST can determine their composition, temperature, and other properties. This information is crucial to assessing the habitability of these worlds. For example, the detection of water vapor, methane, or other biosignatures in the atmosphere of an exoplanet indicates the presence of conditions suitable for life. JWST's observations of exoplanetary systems also provide insight into the processes of planet formation and migration helping to explain the diversity of planetary systems observed in our galaxy. The discoveries made by JWST are complemented by the work of other telescopes and space flights. For example, the Hubble Space Telescope continues to provide high-resolution images and ultraviolet observations that exceed the capabilities of JWST. The collaboration of different telescopes gives scientists the opportunity to create a more complete picture of the universe. Ground-based observatories equipped with adaptive optics and other advanced technologies also play an important role in complementing space-based observations. Together, these tools enable a multi-wavelength approach to space exploration from the ultraviolet to the radio spectrum. The search for potentially habitable exoplanets has been one of the most exciting fields of research in recent years. The discovery of planets in the habitable regions of stars, where conditions may allow liquid water, has generated great interest and excitement.
These planets, often referred to as Goldilocks, are neither too hot nor too cold, making them prime candidates for the search for extraterrestrial life. Detecting biosignatures in the atmospheres of these planets would be a groundbreaking discovery, providing strong evidence for the existence of life beyond Earth. The study of exoplanets also affects our understanding of planet formation and evolution. The variety of exoplanets discovered so far, from hot Jupiters to Earth-sized rocky worlds, challenges existing theories and models. JWST's detailed observations of these planets and their atmospheres will help refine our theories and improve our understanding of planetary formation and evolution over time. I, in addition to scientific contributions, JWST has the potential to inspire and educate the public. The amazing images and groundbreaking discoveries of the telescope capture the imagination and magnify the wonder of the universe. Public participation and educational initiatives such as citizen science projects and educational programs help bring the excitement of space exploration to people of all ages. These efforts can inspire future generations of scientists, engineers, and researchers, promoting innovation and progress in STEM fields. The JWST mission is expected to last at least 10 years, during which it will continue to make significant contributions to our understanding of the universe. As technology advances and new missions are launched, JWST collaborates with other observatories to push the boundaries of human knowledge. Discoveries made by JWST lay the groundwork for future missions and pave the way for even more ambitious space exploration. The search for life beyond Earth remains one of science's most compelling questions. Even the discovery of simple microbial life on another planet would have profound implications for our understanding of biology, evolution, and the uniqueness of life on Earth. This suggests that life is a common phenomenon in the universe, which could lead to the discovery of more complex organisms on other planets. The detection of intelligent life, even if highly speculative, would be an even more extraordinary discovery that would raise fundamental questions about communication, coexistence, and the future of humanity.